Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Cans have become an indispensable part of our daily lives, revolutionizing the way we store and consume food and beverages. But have you ever wondered about the fascinating journey behind the creation of these ubiquitous containers? Join us as we explore the rich history and intricate process of how cans are made. Our story begins in the early 19th century, amidst the Industrial Revolution, when the demand for durable and portable food storage solutions soared. The history of cans traces back to the early 1800s when the French confectioner Nicolas Appert pioneered a method of preserving food in glass jars. This breakthrough laid the groundwork for the development of canned food. However, it was the British merchant Peter Durand who received the first patent for a method of preserving food using tin-coated iron cans in 1810. This marked the birth of the modern canning industry. Durand's invention quickly gained popularity, offering a convenient way to store perishable goods for extended periods, particularly during long sea voyages and military campaigns. The early cans were handmade, requiring skilled labor to cut, shape, and solder the tin-coated iron sheets. Each can was a testament to craftsmanship and durability. However, as the demand for canned goods grew, so did the need for more efficient production methods. In the mid-19th century, advancements in manufacturing technology revolutionized the canning industry. The invention of the can-making machine by American engineer Ezra J. Warner in 1858 paved the way for mass production. Warner's machine automated the process of cutting, forming, and sealing cans, significantly increasing efficiency and reducing production costs. For much of the 19th and early 20th centuries, tin plate remained the primary material used in can manufacturing. Tin's corrosion-resistant properties made it ideal for preserving food and beverages. However, tin plate had its limitations. It was relatively heavy, expensive, and in limited supply, leading to the search for alternative materials. The breakthrough came in the early 20th century with the discovery of aluminum as a viable alternative to tin plate. Aluminum offered several advantages, including lighter weight, lower cost, and recyclability. In 1959, the first aluminum beverage can was introduced by the Adolf Coors Company, revolutionizing the packaging industry. Aluminum cans quickly gained popularity due to their convenience and shelf appeal. Today, can manufacturing has evolved into a highly sophisticated and automated process, incorporating the latest technologies and innovations. Advanced materials such as lightweight alloys and polymer coatings have further enhanced the performance and sustainability of cans. Let's take a closer look at how cans are made today. It all starts with the raw materials, aluminum or steel sheets. These sheets are carefully inspected for quality before being fed into the production line. Once the sheets pass inspection, they're cut into precise sizes, ready for the next step. To enhance corrosion resistance and improve the can's appearance, the sheets undergo a coating process. This protective layer ensures that the contents remain fresh and uncontaminated. Now, it's time to shape the sheets into the familiar cylindrical form we recognize as cans. High-speed presses exert immense pressure to transform the flat sheets into seamless cans with precision. Once formed, the cans undergo a crucial process called seaming, where the ends are sealed to create an airtight container. With the cans prepared, it's time for the filling process, where the products are carefully poured into each container. Once filled, the cans are swiftly sealed to preserve freshness and prevent leakage. The final step involves packaging the cans into boxes or pallets ready for distribution to retailers and consumers worldwide. Despite their numerous advantages, cans have also faced scrutiny for their environmental impact, particularly regarding recycling and waste management. 
However, the industry has made significant strides in promoting recycling initiatives and reducing the environmental footprint of cans through lightweighting and eco-friendly packaging solutions. As we conclude our exploration into the history and manufacturing of cans, it's evident that these seemingly simple containers have a rich and complex story to tell. From the humble origins of tin-coated iron cans in the early 19th century, to the modern marvels of lightweight aluminum alloys and advanced polymer coatings, cans have continually evolved to meet the needs of consumers and industry alike. Throughout this journey, we've witnessed the ingenuity of inventors and the relentless pursuit of innovation, driving the canning industry forward. From handcrafted cans painstakingly soldered together to high-speed automated production lines, the manufacturing process has undergone remarkable transformations, shaping the way we preserve and consume food and beverages. Yet, as we marvel at the technological advancements and efficiency of modern manufacturing, we must also recognize the importance of sustainability and environmental stewardship. The canning industry continues to strive towards minimizing its environmental footprint through recycling initiatives, lightweighting, and eco-friendly packaging solutions. As we bid farewell, let us carry with us an appreciation for the humble can, a symbol of ingenuity, resilience, and progress. Join us again as we embark on more journeys of discovery and exploration. Until then, remember to cherish the stories behind everyday objects, for they hold the keys to understanding our past, present, and future. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.